Hey YouTube, what's Joe? It's your old pal Falaf Shep back here with another video as the title um uh suggests. Uh I've got some good news and some bad news regarding what I've recently learned of the affairs relating to indigenous peoples of North America. Um one thing uh okay, so I'll tell you the bad news first. The bad news is that my favorite college, Wyoming University is a land grab college. They were, um, I mean, in a sense, every place in the U.S. is a land grab college, but Wyoming um, uh, took 90,000 acres of land that had previously belonged to northern Arapaho, uh, I think northern Cheyenne, um, uh, Shoshone, and possibly a couple other tribes that I'm not remembering at the moment. It's terrible news, and I, I just wanted to let all of you know on YouTube that, yes, I will still be rooting for Wyoming, but, um, um, I, um, I completely renounce, um, the, 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 the school's history in that respect, and all aspects of the school's checkered past, including the, um, extreme mistreatment of the Black 14, a group of um, protesters for the Wyoming football team, um, that were mistreated by this terrible coach we had, I can't remember the name, I want to say Floyd Eaton, or something like that, I don't know, I'll look it up, one way or the other, um, I, I, um, uh, I, I will still be calling Wyoming's games, all 12 of them, 13 if there's a conference championship, um, and a couple more if they're in the playoff, um, Oh, 14 if they're in a bowl, 15 and 16 if they get into the playoff and they get to the national championship, which I think is highly unlikely, but still. I will still be calling all of their games, but at the beginning of the season, we will be having a moment of silence for all of the injustices done to indigenous peoples of North America. Um, I know it's that's an extreme generalization, and you can't just, you know make up for it in a moment of silence, but it's sort of, it's the least we can do, and, um, I thought it might be something a little bit thoughtful to do on the channel. Um, the next, the good news, however, is that the Dakota Access Pipeline has been ordered shut down by a judge, and, um, I might have this story up somewhere, I, I, I'm, I'm not sure, um, still, uh, it's, it's been ordered shut down pending an environmental review it will be shut down. The Dakota Access Pipeline, for those of you who don't know, has been built through the uh, lands of the um, uh, Standing Rock uh, Sioux Tribe in um, um, in uh, South, but mainly North Dakota, and um, they're um, uh, pending an environmental review. That might actually go down. So that's that's the good news. Um, uh, the Sioux people have um, uh, have been. I mean, it's pretty general um, uh, general term, but within that there are three subgroups, and within those subgroups there are many, many sub-subgroups, but um, uh, the Sioux people, um, more broadly speaking, have been mistreated by the United States really ever since the first Sioux War in 1854 when the U.S. killed Southern Brule, um chief conquering bear, and that ignited um, a series of of wars and U.S. aggression, uh, unnecessary, unwarranted um, U.S. aggression towards the Sioux people. Um, but um, I hope you, uh, well, not enjoyed, but I hope you learned something from this video. Um, uh, reluctantly, I'll say go Wyo to finish this up. And for now, this will be your old pal Fluff Shep signing out. So long, everyone.